There also could be a development in the lawsuit by Dominion Voting Systems against Fox News, alleging false claims about the 2020 U.S. presidential election. Dominion, a company with Canadian roots, is suing for $1.6 billion, alleging defamation. Now, the trial was set to begin today, but right now is on hold at least until tomorrow. The CBC's Magda geber joins us now from Washington with the latest on this story. So, Magda, can you tell us more about this case? Well, if this trial actually gets started, it's going to be one to track. And what was expected was that a number of big names at Fox News were going to testify, and that included Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram, and the Fox Corps chairman, mm -hmm. Rupert Murdoch. And at the core of this case are the conspiracy theories around the 2020 election and how Fox News covered it. So Dominion Voting Systems is accusing Fox of spreading false claims that the company's voting machines were set up to take votes away from Donald Trump. Here's a sampling of some of that coverage. Sydney, we talked about the Dominion software. I know that there were voting irregularities. Tell me about that. We have tremendous evidence already but we, uh, of fraud in this election. Electronic voting machines didn't allow people to vote, apparently. And that, whatever you think of it, the cause of it, it shakes people's faith in the system. That is an actual threat to democracy. Now, leading up to all of this, the judge already made several rulings that were against Fox and helped Dominion's case. So lawyers for the media company can't dispute that what the company aired, Fox News aired about Dominion, was false and hurt the company. So now it's all about figuring out if there was actual malice. Did Fox News know that this, these were false claims and aired it anyway, or did they act in a way that ignored whether the statements were true or false? Now, leading up to this, there were emails and text messages that were released recently showing that several of the hosts said one thing on air, but off camera doubted the claims. Rupert Murdoch also seemed to express his doubts as well. But Fox News's position is that what was covered was newsworthy, and Arthi, it denies that it defamed Dominion. Of course, Dominion is disagreeing with that, and as of today, it is still seeking more than $1.6 billion in damages. Now, as we mentioned off the top, Magda, the trial is supposed to begin today, but it's been delayed. So what's behind that? Yeah, so the Wall Street Journal is reporting that Fox is making this last-minute push to settle this. And this is, of course, a paper that is owned by Rupert Murdoch. You now have other media outlets also reporting that the delay is because of possible settlement talks. And the fact is, many were surprised that Fox didn't settle this to begin with and allowed it to get to this point where we're talking about a trial. Take a listen to what this journalist had to say. Surprised if they didn't settle, uh, I think they'll probably lose. The cynicism and the outright lying is so crazy here. Now, the judge has already made an official announcement that the trial will go ahead tomorrow. He didn't say anything about settlement talks today. But as we heard from other media outlets, Fox does seem to be trying to settle. So we'll have to watch out to see what happens tomorrow. Thanks for this. That is the CBC's Magda Gebre-Selassie in Washington.